we are in Abu Dhabi and we are actually expecting rain. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the final race of F1 2018. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is emotional. For quite a few reasons, uh, some of which I've, uh, I've touched on, uh, on the predictions video. But uh, yeah, it's all, uh, it's all sinking in right now. It truly feels like, uh, like an end of an era. So many, so many changes will take place after this Grand Prix. Yeah, Formula One will, uh, will feel very, very differently in, uh, in Australia 2019. Obviously for me, the biggest change will be that Fernando Alonso won't be on the grid next year. Which, yeah, really signals to me that Formula One is rather sick as one of the one of the top three drivers on the grid can't find the motivation the pleasure of driving to be on the grid in uh, in 2019 the sport is sick and hopefully hopefully in the in the future these problems that uh, are plaguing the sport right now will be will be resolved ah, what a season what a season we've had. I hate this track. I really hate it. It's shite. And the whole, you know, dusk tonight, it's just a gimmick. It's just a spectacle. It's no... Nothing about this, this event screams at me, a uh, sporting event. Anyway. Oh, and the fact that it, uh, it closes the season, I can't forgive. Super soft, ultra soft and hyper soft for the final time. Uh, for next year, we'll have the hard, uh, medium and soft. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we have Lewis Hamilton on pole, starting alongside his teammate Valtteri Bottas. Then there is a Ferrari second row with uh, uh, Sebastian Vettel, sorry, ahead of uh, Kimi Raikkonen with the Red Bulls behind, but uh, with Daniel Ricciardo for a change ahead of uh, Verstappen, who's the only one of the top six uh, on hypers. The others are starting on ultras. Grosjean and Leclerc are up there in the, in the top 10, as well as Esteban Ocon and Nico Hulkenberg. Carlos Sainz, Marcus Ericsson in his final F1 race starts P12. Kevin Magnussen behind him with uh, Sergio Perez for company. Fernando Alonso, P15. Yeah. Stoffel Van Dorn, another one who, who calls it a day on his F1 adventure, starts uh, P18. I'm getting emotional, getting emotional. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. I'm saving it for the, for the end of the race. So yeah, let's talk about uh, Max Verstappen. Being the only one on uh, Hypers, uh, of the top six, he genuinely needs a fantastic start. Get ahead not only of his uh, teammate Daniel Ricciardo, but also challenge the Ferraris. He has to. He's on a different strategy. I'm not expecting anything other than a one-stop strategy here, but um, he needs to. He needs a fantastic start. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Daniel Ricciardo, his 100th and final race for Red Bull, switching to, to Renault for next year. But obviously the biggest story of the weekend is that Robert Kubica is back in Formula One next year. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant story. <laughs> ah. We're losing Fernando Alonso, but we're getting back um, Robert. Such a great story it is. And off they go on the formation lap for the final time. <laughs> Let's crack one open. There you go. Drinking game for uh, today, if you missed it. It's uh, one sip for every pit stop, three sips, because they are so uh, damn rare around here, for every overtake and down all the available alcohol at the end of the race. Not only for Fernando, but for F1 2018. Because like I said, 
it'll look the sport will look rather different in Australia cheers guys let's have a good one yeah so uh, on a personal level I have to say this is the final race reactions video at least for a while uh, because uh, yeah it's not I don't I don't think you guys want to want to watch me you know keep on mumbling about uh, about what's going on in the race the whole idea was that I will have uh, I will have a guest each and every race but obviously that uh, that didn't transpire so um, yeah I'm calling it a day on uh, on this um, on this series um, but don't worry the predictions preview and predictions video will keep on coming uh, as well as some different series on uh, on the channel I hope you're uh, I hope you're as excited as I am changes are coming <laughs> I hope I can provide the quality materials that uh, you obviously look out for and uh, and enjoy so uh, yeah that's to that's something to look forward to in the future as they're lining up here we go we go to two three li red lights four five and the final race is go here we go Max Verstappen with a not so brilliant start Ooh. Mercedes drove away oh contact no the low no no don't let that be Alonso please is that Verstappen Ooh. the Ferraris are dueling Ooh, there goes the Red Bull no 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 Verstappen had quite a crappy start <laughs> But no contact. Ooh, challenging, challenging Leclerc. Lock up, lock up for Verstappen, but he's ahead. He's ahead. Ooh, ooh, what the hell? What a massive crash for Hulkenberg. Ouch. And he's upside down. Wow, what a, what a spectacle. Oh, and the car's on fire now. Ouch. Yeah, Whew, at least he's okay. That looked nasty. That was spectacular, to say the least. And safety cars out, obviously. Wow, <laughs> what a barrel roll! Yeah, he can't. He can't come out. He can't come out of the car because of the halo. Hit the car! Come on! Put your back into it. Hey, here we go. Ah, good to see you, Nico. <laughs> Well, he is set to finish best of the rest in uh, in 2018. Is Nico, but uh, yeah, definitely not the way his uh, his season should have ended. So yeah, three and a half laps later, and the safety car is ending. The steward ruled it as a as a racing incident, and uh, yeah, I I can't I can't agree more. Uh, I think Grosjean was in Hulkenberg's blind spot. And yeah, he had he had the he had the inside line uh, into that corner, so it can only be a racing incident. Hartley took the opportunity to pit under the safety car, switched to super softs, which uh, you know theoretically can go to the end. We'll see. Other than that, obviously uh, Grosjean has some uh, has some front wing damage and suspension, but uh, nothing terminal. And we're racing once more with Hamilton leading Bottas, Vettel, Raikkonen, Leclerc P5, Ricciardo, Grosjean, Ocon, Verstappen and Perez. That's the top 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Verstappen challenging Ocon. Mm, not happening now. Down the inside goes Max on Ocon. That's how you do it. That's three sips. Ocon come back! Ooh! He has issues! He has issues! Max has issues! I think he's been overtaken by, by both four Simbias. What's that? Yeah, engine issues. Well, momentarily, because now he's right with Perez. Here we go! Slipstreaming! Moves to the inside! Under braking, yep, that's three sips. Well, if it was a glitch, it's gone. Come on, lining up Ocon once more. <laughs> well, 
That car is not 100%, that's for sure. Ooh, down the inside he goes! That was not on, Max. That was not on. Ocon had to take evasive actions. And again, the Force India comes back. That Red Bull is not feeling well. <laughs> this is gonna end in tears. This is going to end in tears. I'm calling it now. These guys are battling like crazy. Oh, here we go. Side by side they go. No. Switcheroo. Down the inside goes Max. And he's ahead. He's ahead. Can he make it stick? There was wheel to wheel contact there. Naughty, naughty Max. Leclerc overtook Raikkonen. What? Leclerc overtook Raikkonen. No, 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 no. Raikkonen's out. Raikkonen's out. No, no, no. Kimi on your final race for Ferrari. Uh, Complete shutdown. Dashboard went blank. <laughs> well, Mercedes are gonna call someone in under the VSC. We're only seven laps in, and uh, is it Hamilton? Yeah, Hamilton comes in. Okay, that's a sip. Where is Hamilton coming out? Behind Verstappen. Yep. There goes Verstappen. And here we go, we're racing once more. Come on, Bottas leads Vettel, then there's a bit of a gap to Ricciardo. Then Verstappen, Hamilton, who obviously had stopped, Ocon, Perez, Ericsson, Sainz and Gasly. That's the top 10. Ooh, so Hamilton is going to the end. What's that, 47 laps on a set of super softs? Round here, easily. Well, this will be interesting. Ferrari power versus uh, the Red Bull. The tag Hoyer powered. Uh, yeah, but obviously Verstappen's car is sick. A bit. So with DRS, Hamilton, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, here we go! Side by side they go. Hamilton on the inside. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. And that's three sips. But Verstappen now with DRS. Comes back for more. And he's ahead. <laughs> what a jewel this is. This is a battle I want to see more in the future. Hamilton versus Verstappen. <laughs> in the twisty sectors, that Red Bull is mighty. But I'm afraid down the start finish straight. Ah, he's too far behind now. He's too far behind. Hamilton doesn't have DRS and obviously he has to nurse his tires to the end so it's not full on attack and that's Leclerc yeah making a move making a move on Grosjean on Magnussen sorry so after that failed attempt to overtake Verstappen Hamilton really dropped back he's over two seconds behind now ow Hartley what the hell was that Hartley yeah a bit of a shunt with the tech pro barriers. I think he got away with it. Yeah, that's not what you want, Hartley. That's not what you want. Hartley, a guy whom I'm, I'm not expecting to see in Formula 1 next year. I have to say. Albon should get, should get the drive at Toro Rosso. We'll see. So I'm guessing now everyone is waiting for Verstappen to make his pit stop because remember he's on hypersoft so and everyone else around him is on uh, ultras apart from Hamilton obviously um, oh here we go that's Grosjean on who's that Sirotkin that's for position just Verstappen closed the gap a bit to, to Ricciardo roughly a second now but Hamilton is either not enjoying those super softs or is really nursing them because he fell over three seconds now behind the Verstappen. 
Right, so uh, 20 laps in. Of the front runners, only Ricciardo has not made his pit stop yet. He's still running those uh, those ultras he started on. And yeah, the gaps are um, yeah are steady for uh, for the past five six laps. There are some close battles, but nothing you know exciting. Closest battle at the moment is uh, for P14. Wouldn't you believe it? Between uh, Van Dorn and uh, Grosjean. And yeah, we are in Abu Dhabi and we are actually expecting rain. What can you do? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun of it, but it's only fitting, isn't it? I think it's, I think it's brilliant. Final race of the year. We had, we had a nasty looking accident. Why not throw everything at this race? Have ourselves a complete bonkers one and have, you know, Sirotkin, Alonso and, let's say, Leclerc finishing on the podium. I'd fancy that. So apparently there is actual rain in the desert 12 miles away from the circuit, which is roughly, what, 15, 16 kilometers away. It would be an actual fitting end to the season, wouldn't it? Rain in Abu Dhabi. During the Grand Prix. Wow. Okay. 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 So. This just in. We're 25 laps in. And the rain has come. It's actually raining in Abu Dhabi during the Formula 1 Grand Prix. What are the chances? I know Formula 1 is trying to get into betting from next year, but one in, one in a thousand? <laughs> it's actually raining on the circuit, on the back straight. It's raining in the desert, during the Grand Prix. I know obviously it's, it's bound to rain in the desert at some point, but during the Formula 1 race. As Hartley tries to make his way past the Williams of Sirotkin. That's a pass, that's a pass, and it's for position. Is that Sauber going slowly? Yep, yeah, yeah, and it's Ericsson. Mm, no, not again. During his final race. No, no, Ericsson, come on. Final race for Ericsson. Flipping sake. Well, tell you what, if the rain is actually intensifying, Ricardo is in the is in a great position, great position at the moment. He had those tires on for over 26 laps. Charles Leclerc on Alonso. Mm, side by side they go, but Leclerc has the inside line. Ah, bit of a passing of the torch moment there. Alonso comes back for more. Come on, come on! It really has been a, a highlight of the season to see Leclerc going up against uh, Alonso. I think Hamilton got the message that rain might intensify because he's really closing up on Ricciardo now. The gap was over six seconds, now it's uh, three. As Grosjean tries to find its way, Past Van Dorn, not happening. Not happening now. Right, so uh, lap 32 and uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to jinx it. There we go. Uh, but I don't think the rain will come. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Ocon on Van Dorn. No, the McLaren stays ahead. Bit of a, too much curve there. Too much curve there, Van Dorn. Side by side they go. What a brilliant battle! What a brilliant battle this is! Side by side for three corners! Woo! Yes! Ooh, he goes wide, Ocon! Goes very wide! Stays ahead! Stays ahead! Mm. He gained an advantage, but he did not gain the place, so... Three sips. And in all of this, Ricciardo is still going on on those ultra soft tires. 
33 laps of racing plus the two in um, in quali over 35 laps and he's keeping Hamilton behind three seconds behind no oh, Van Dorn is struggling Van Dorn oh no no sorry that's Alonso don't collide Ooh, hoo, hoo. that was too close that was too close with Sirotkin but Alonso is ahead Alonso is ahead is the rain intensifying is it all over oh finally finally Ricardo Ricardo's in Ricardo is in and he switches to super softs mm. bit of a missed opportunity really there goes Verstappen ah. well Ricardo has the freshest tires of the lot but I don't see him I don't see him overtaking Verstappen Vettel Bottas let alone Hamilton ah, I think it's all over I think it's all over for Ricky if anyone's tires are to fail, are Hamilton's. Oh, sorry. One sip for Ricciardo's pit stop. Well, if Ricciardo wants to finish on the podium, he has to make some overtakes. On his final race for Red Bull. That's Gasly on Van Dorn. Side by side they go. But he's ahead. He's ahead. Gasly ahead. Hmm. Which is a bit poetic, isn't it? What the hell was that? Oh, here we go, here we go, Fettel on Bottas! Moves to the outside. No! Bottas stays ahead! Switcheroo, not happening, not happening! Bottas stays ahead! Come on! Fettel comes back for more around the outside. Bottas has the inside line and he is ahead, but... Oh, yeah, he's ahead! He's ahead! Fettel ahead of Bottas! Nice one! Nice one! Come on! And that brought Verstappen right into play. Verstappen now less than a second behind Bottas. <laughs> and in all of this, Ricciardo is closing up as well. Nice! Oh, here we go! Verstappen on Bottas. Not happening, not happening now. But with VRS, I don't think... The Finn stands a chance. Well, in all of this uh, Fettel versus Bottas versus Verstappen battle, Ricciardo gained the most. He's less than two seconds now behind uh, his teammate Verstappen. <laughs> and remember, he has the freshest tires of the lot. Hamilton's still up front, over seven seconds ahead of Fettel now. Ooh. Science is finally into the pits. He had such a great race. Right, so 15 laps to go. And yeah, Bottas made a few mistakes one after another. Long story short, both Red Bulls are now in front and Bottas is coming into the pits for what is effectively a free pit stop. Going for that uh, fastest lap. Up front, Hamilton is roughly six seconds ahead of Vettel now. Which, you know, with, with 15 laps to go, should be enough. Should be enough, despite the early pit stop for, uh, for Lewis. We shall see. Question is, the battle for the final podium place. Verstappen versus Ricciardo. Sainz did a masterful, masterful job this weekend to finish best of the rest. He went supremely long on that uh, on that set of. Uh, I think he started on on ultras, and uh, yeah, now he now he switched to to super soft to keep Leclerc behind to 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 nurse the nurse the gap to the Force Indias to Grosjean who uh, well. To be fair, had some scraps along the way, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, Sainz is going to finish, best of the rest. Ricciardo is catching Verstappen right up, right up, less than two seconds now, 5.2 seconds now, between Hamilton up front and Vettel P2. Well, here we are then, final four laps of the season. 
And Hamilton is still up front. Still up front, keeping Fettel behind. And Ricciardo, I don't know what really happened there. He can't close the gap enough to Verstappen. Alonso is on the fringes of points, which is really baffling. P11 after, uh, obviously, Gasly and Ocon, both retired, unfortunately. Over two seconds the gap between uh, Verstappen and Ricciardo, which is the, the closest battle on track at the moment. But, um, yeah. Unless Ricciardo has some untapped potential in there, it's going to end like this. Perez is really closing up to Leclerc now. <laughs> Ferrari power versus Mercedes power. And you know what? Sainz is my driver of the day. Yeah, why not? Driver of the weekend, though. Hamilton. Hamilton. It has to be Hamilton. And I really wanted it to go to someone like Ricciardo or Alonso or even Grosjean. But Hamilton put that car on pole, drove a brilliant race. That early stop was really early, but it, he made it work. He bloody made it work. Yep. Closest battle is for P7 between Leclerc and Perez, but um, yeah, that that Ferrari grunt is keeping Charlotte he ahead. Less than a second now, less than a second between them two. <laughs> Time penalty for Alonso, no, no, no. What the hell, leaving the track and gaining an advantage. Ah, flipsy. Well, that all but confirms he's finishing out of the point. Final lap then. Hamilton four seconds ahead of Vettel. Verstappen is bound to finish P3. <sighs> Ricciardo on his final race for Red Bull. Well, at least his car hold together. Uh, he's going to finish P4. Bottas P5. Which, you know, I think it's fair. He had, he had a really underwhelming season. This is the Valtteri Bottas I was expecting last year, in his first season with Mercedes. And his last season, in 2017, was the season I was expecting him to have this year, if that makes sense. So yeah, he, he, went, he went backwards, so, so to speak, this year. He was robbed of the victory in both the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and in Russia. But he made mistakes, he was, uh, he was not on par with the likes of Hamilton, Vettel, even Reitman. But yeah, Hamilton takes the 11th win of 2018! Fair play, Hamilton! Ahead of Sebastian Vettel, ahead of Max Verstappen. Three different constructors on the podium, Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull. It's not the podium we've had in, uh, in Australia, like I predicted. Ricciardo on his final race for Red Bull finishes P4. Bottas P5. Sainz finishes best of the rest in P6 ahead of Charles Leclerc. Great job and it's donuts time! Donuts time for Hamilton. Why not? Why not? Blow that gearbox up. I guess that's it guys. Yes, that's it. Alonso finishes P11, including that uh, that penalty. Driver of the day is Fernando Alonso, apparently, according to the fans. Which, you know, considering he's not... Excuse me, he won't be around. Alonso was one of the guys that, uh, yeah, he was on the grid uh, 
when I started uh, when I started watching Formula One, you know, regularly. I'm watching Formula One since uh, 1996. Obviously, I can't remember those early days, but uh, yeah. ever since 2001, uh, I I've, I've developed this this passion for the sport and uh, Alonso was on the grid that day when I first watched a Formula One race with uh, with a notebook nearby and uh, taking notes and uh, yeah I was there in Brazil when uh, when he clinched his first championship and I was there in uh, in San Marino at team all up Pleasure having you in our when he had that uh, that brilliant star, brilliant duel with uh, with Michael Schumacher, all the high, excuse all me. The high moments, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna miss you. Um, we wish you all the very very best for the future, and uh, you know, all very fond of memories that we have. This together. I like. So, this I like. Hamilton, this Alonso, and Vettel. Formation lap. Look at it, look at it. Fettel Alonso and Hamilton. As they're parking up on the start finish straight. Time for some donuts! <laughs> brilliant, 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 brilliant. F1 2018, this is for you. You've been great, you've been infuriating. But you've been Formula One nonetheless. What a great, what a great season. Farewell, Fernando Alonso. I don't know if I'll be seeing you again in Formula One, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm, uh, I'm closing this, uh, this video up now before, uh, before you see me turn my, out, my eyes out. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you think I've earned it. Share this video around on social media. Remember to subscribe if you're not around here and uh, yeah. Exciting, exciting future ahead of both Formula One and uh, of this channel. Like I've said, thanks so much, so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Your driver of the day, your driver of the weekend. Please leave me a note in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah. I'll see you. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.